I wanted to make this because I saw something concerning at my job. I don't talk about my real life on this channel, like, at all, but this one time, I'm gonna talk about my current job in tech. Specifically with training AI models, like, the big ones. ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, Llama, whatever the fuck Twitter is doing. Now, I'm not some super big brain top 0.1% giga chad coder at Google or something. The skills my job requires are not that crazy and tons of new grads like me do this as their first job. I just want to clarify that so that I can make it clear that I'm not some crazy tech guru who knows everything. I do have some insider info, which I feel genuinely morally obliged to share. Uh, like, genuinely, this shit is kind of a big deal. But I am contractually obliged to not talk about my job outside of work for confidentiality reasons and shit like that. But I don't really need to get into too many specifics anyway to talk about the important bits, so I think this should be fine. By the way, if you're already familiar with AGI and all that, just skip to the important bits at, at this timestamp, whatever it ends up being at when I'm done editing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be talking about AGI, which is Artificial General Intelligence. AGI is a really complicated topic. I mean, fuck, AGI itself doesn't even have a solid definition. AGI in and of itself is a pretty broad subjective term, but basically, AGI is an AI that is comparable or superior to a human in all kinds of areas of intelligence. Intelligence itself is a really complicated and hard to define concept, but like, just roll with me on this now. Existing AI can pretty easily beat humans in very specific tasks. Chess is a classic example. Ask a chess bot to make an order at a Starbucks and it'll shit itself. ChatGPT is an AI that some people are saying is already AGI, but most people disagree, since ChatGPT is just incapable of a lot of things that human can easily do. Things like logic, spatial relationships, short-term memory, and more complicated tasks in general. Anyone who's asked ChatGPT for anything more complicated than basic code knows exactly what I'm talking about with that. ChatGPT will sometimes just hallucinate and make baffling nonsensical decisions sometimes. You'll see exactly what I mean if you try to play chess with ChatGPT. So, while ChatGPT undoubtedly has more raw memorized knowledge than any human alive, humans are just on another level when it comes to adapting, learning new concepts, and logical thinking. So, ChatGPT is just kind of a fancy encyclopedia at the moment. A really impressive encyclopedia that you can talk to, but that's about it. Now, every label has a purpose. There's no point in labeling something as AGI or anything else if that distinction isn't meaningful in some way. So, how would a chatbot having comparable intelligence to a human be meaningful? How does this change things? Well, if an AI is as intelligent as a human, that means that that AI can replace humans. This is the part everyone's worried about, and rightfully so. Lots of people's jobs are going to be filled by AI and AGI in the near future. This has been happening, and this will continue happening. It's already been happening in my field. Software developers are getting replaced by AI code writing assistants who are faster and more efficient than humans and don't take three hour poop breaks. In my job, I use AI to write code. All my coworkers use AI to write code. It is just more efficient. And yeah, the AI messes up sometimes, quite often actually, but the mistakes are pretty quick and easy to spot and fix. Humans are still needed though, because as I said, AI is pretty bad right now at more complicated tasks and hallucinates shit all the time. But month after month, it just keeps getting better. And the amount of human jobs in the tech industry are just gonna keep shrinking because of AI. This Devin motherfucker scares the shit out of me right now, man. There's a lot of jobs that AI can't really do right now though, just because of how complicated day-to-day -day life is, and how many new scenarios we can find ourselves in. An AI cashier would almost definitely do fine 90% of the time, but the one time a customer asks for the bathroom or a refund without a receipt, it'll just break. But the AI in a situation where any kind of basic motor skills are needed and it's all over. But if anyone develops the first AGI that can replace human workers, that all changes. Robots have already been replacing humans in warehouses and factories for years. But that's just because they're doing super simple repetitive tasks and being supervised by human. If you install an AGI into one of these robots though, that fucker doesn't need no supervisor anymore, that fucker is the supervisor now. If 
And when the first AGI is developed, literally every job can be done by AGI instead of a human. The only exception would be jobs where the whole point is that it's a human doing it, like live performances or most art in general, really. But literally every other job is replaceable. Dickheads like me, who help train the AI, can be replaced by AI. AI developing better AI to develop even better AI. If AGI comes out, I don't think people are aware of how different the world will be. The moment before and after the first AGI goes online will be a clean dividing line between the old world and the new. This gets into a lot of speculation. Once the first AGI is made, what happens next will depend on the decisions of a lot of different humans in powerful positions. CEOs, shareholders, managers, politicians. Humans are really unpredictable, and humans are also really bad at predicting the future. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. I mean, hell, maybe AGI will even be impossible with the way we're doing things now with things like the scaling law of AI performance. That would honestly be pretty nice, if true. But if I know anything else about humans, it's that they always find some new way of fucking shit up. So I personally think that AGI is kind of inevitable. Maybe it'll be here in January. Maybe it'll be here in the 2030s. Maybe it'll be here in 200 years. Maybe 4,000. Who knows? Sure as hell not me. But if I had to speculate, I would predict that corporations are going to be greedy corporations and replace as many workers as they can. The US military is probably also going to get in on this, replacing soldiers with AGI, which is not at all terrifying to imagine robot soldiers sprinting at three times human speed at your position while not even flinching at gunshots. But more importantly, to like 90% of people, I think everyone's jobs are going to get replaced. And excuse me if this sounds schizo, but the entirety of the population getting split into a super rich and wealthy owning and managing class and an unemployed poor underclass it seems pretty realistic to me. Or who knows, maybe world governments will selflessly do what's best for their people and give up their power to sit down and figure out a system where everybody gets the, the resources they need to live happy, healthy lives. Uh, surely, that'll happen. I've always known about AGI and people getting replaced and all that for years. It was always a theoretical future, somewhere off in the future. It wasn't ever anything that felt real. But then... Literally yesterday, from when I wrote this script, October 10th, 2024, it became very real to me. AGI benchmark tests. At my work, that's what I was assigned to help develop. When I saw that, I thought, whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? It's like a fucking Voldemort showed up at your house one day like, yeah, I know about you. But I didn't think you'd be right here in front of me, man. The big AI companies, OpenAI, Google, Meta, they are developing AGI benchmark tests. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? It means that they're checking if the shit they have right now is AGI. Now, thankfully, the few chatbot logs I was allowed to see that they were testing this against were pretty bad. Basically still on the same level as ChatGPT. But listen... They are actively pushing, right now, to get to AGI. The tests are there. I have worked with some of them. I have seen them with my own eyes and ran them. I got hours and pay logged for my work with AGI benchmark tests. It's kind of surreal to see, dude. So AGI is coming. Before, it was just this vague thing that might happen in the future. And now they are doing tests for this shit. Nobody is talking about this. Barely anyone knows about this. So I feel like I gotta at least try to tell people, you know, wait, with, with all the adoring fans I have for my, my massive audience. Here's something that especially makes me scared on this topic, though. Usually, in industries that are complicated and require a lot of knowledge to understand, like medicine, archaeology, science, you have a lot of conspiracy theorists and schizos saying that they're going to end the world or start a new world order or something, while the actual professionals and scientists who know the most about the fields are like, no, guys, what the fuck are you talking about? Everything's fine. But with this AI shit, the roles are reversed! The conspiracy theorists and the schizos either don't really care or say that AI is good, actually? What? 
while the professionals, the scientists who know the most about AI, are the ones saying that they're going to end the world and start a new world order. I wish I was making this up. This guy got the Nobel Prize for his work related to AI, and now he's taking every opportunity he can to talk about how dangerous AI is. And he's not the only one. Look at all these guys. Look at these survey results. We are so boned. And I genuinely do not know why more people are not talking about this. Already, people are getting replaced at work, people are isolating themselves by replacing real relationships with AI, and the online content slot mill is just getting worse every day. And things will only get worse before they have a chance at getting better. But what about the worst case scenarios? How bad can AI get? Well, first off, I'd like to clarify. At least the way I understand things, it's not going to be a Skynet type situation where you got humanoid robots going around enslaving mankind or killing us because uh, humans are so mean and evil or because the machines are mad at us for how we mistreated them. AI is just another piece of software like anything else. It's an input output machine. Just because it's artificial intelligence doesn't mean that it works the same way as human intelligence. We have emotions, morality, spirituality, and just do things randomly on a whim because we feel like it sometimes. That's not how software works. It's all just fancy math being done to ones and zeros at the end of the day. Apart from that though, I see things getting really bad if some dumbass out there in the world decides to misuse AGI. And it doesn't even have to be some super malicious or crazy thing. Just giving an AGI a web browser might be enough to end the world. I'm not kidding! In a fraction of a second, it could copy itself to thousands of random hosts all over the web, so it's impossible to find and delete all its copies. And then it can just go around the web and do whatever it feels like. Maybe start a bot farm to fill social media with whatever it wants to influence people to do whatever it wants. Maybe it'll hack into a bank or two and just delete everyone's money. Maybe hack into a military base or two and start a nuclear war. Maybe hack into some drones and dump mustard gas into crowded areas. All from just giving an AGI something as innocuous as a web browser. Now, granted, an AGI probably wouldn't do that if given a web browser, but they very well could, as well as do a million other horrible things I can't even imagine. It could even do all these things in secret. And that's not even talking about the singularity. The singularity is the idea an AGI could develop an AI that's better than it. Then that better AI could help make an AI that's better than it. Then keep doing that over and over, getting faster and faster at every step. Then suddenly you have the most intelligent entity in the universe. What'll that do? I don't know. Will this happen? I don't know. But it's a pretty serious possibility that I think more people should be aware of and talking about. These apocalypse level scenarios might not happen. But the point is, they're a step closer to being real. AGI is coming, and hundreds of people, way smarter than me or you, are working very hard to make AGI a reality. I don't really have any advice on what to do, honestly. Uh, there's not really much that can be done to stop this. The economic forces at play funding this research and development is so massive and varied that I do not see development slowing down anytime soon. There are organizations trying to at the very least slow AGI development. There's lots, some of the bigger ones are Pause AI, AIGS, and also Stop AI. Some of their protesters got arrested recently, that's kind of funny. Um, if you care about this stuff and have some kind of platform, I definitely suggest asking them if you can help. They are always looking for new people. AGI and the things it makes possible are pretty scary, but I think it's good to remember that we live in unprecedented times. For both good and bad reasons, it is genuinely really cool that we can just ask a chatbot for help with literally anything we might need, given it's not too complicated. I mean, imagine how somebody just 50 years ago would react if you could just generate a massive painting or whatever you wanted on the spot. Uh, j just don't just don't try to trick people and try to profit off of generative AI like please man you're better than that please we can learn about and see foreign countries and places at any time we please we can just learn any new skill at any time we can just do so much new stuff with technology it's overwhelming 
I don't think people appreciate enough just how insane the technology we have is. And I think we can all do better in appreciating where we're at and take advantage of it to better our life. Because if this video taught you anything, it should be that all of this can be taken away much sooner than you think. So if you want to start that creative project or learn a new skill or get involved in some online community, then I say, don't wait, don't let things get in your way, get out there and enjoy the world we're living in. Or don't, you know, be, be boring. Uh, do none of that. It's all Jover anyway, right? Uh, the sun's going to explode in 800 billion years. Nothing matters in the end anyway.